Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that is probably the most exciting video I've ever had the privilege of filming. I am filming with my friend Angelica Nyquist and her collab with Kaleidos Makeup. So if you guys are interested in seeing swatches, my first impression thoughts, and how I created this eye look, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. If you like first impressions, ranking videos, hauls, will I buy it? We do it all here on my channel. So I would highly recommend subscribing, turning on that post notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you are fans of Angie's channel, I'm trying really hard to channel my inner Angelica Nyquist today. I actually found this shirt at Target last night when I was randomly walking through Target and I was like, oh yeah, I need that shirt for Angie's video. So I did end up grabbing it and what perfect timing because lo and behold, my Club Nebula palette showed up at my house. So you guys are going to be able to see the unboxing of this palette when I do this eye look because obviously I had to take the eyeshadow palette out of the box. But here is what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. I'm sure you guys have seen it a hundred times. I just can't believe it because Angie told me she was working on this palette. I had seen the palette in advance, but to have it here is so unreal. So thank you so much to Kaleidos and Angelica for sending me this palette in PR. I am so excited. I already know I love Kaleidos makeup, and I mean, I feel like this palette was just made for me because you guys know I've been complaining about how eyeshadow palettes don't have enough colorful matte shadows. I'm always complaining that I always see beautiful shimmer shades and colorful shimmer shades, but there's never enough colorful mattes in the palette. So I feel like Angie heard all of my complaints and made this palette for me. <laughs> she did, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding guys. Obviously she made it for all of us, but I'm so happy with this. I was watching a video earlier today because I knew this palette got delivered and it was Tammy. She is a UK YouTuber, she's huge. She has a massive channel and Seeing these dark mattes on somebody with a deep skin tone, I just, oh my gosh, her makeup look was so stunning. I was just so happy seeing it on a deeper skin tone, looking so beautiful. Obviously, it looks amazing on Angie, and now I get to wear it, so this is like full circle moment for me. Anyway, I am so proud of my friend Angie. Congratulations again and again and again and again on this beautiful palette. I wish we could all get together to celebrate but alas with the way things are in the world we won't be able to do that right at this time but I'm sure sometime in the future we'll be celebrating this palette so anyway I've gone on and on long enough let's get to swatching oh my gosh also did you guys notice that she laid out this palette from light to dark it's all about the little details with that girl <laughs> so excited okay 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 so I only played with a few shades so I haven't actually like touched any of these <gasps> ah! okay I'm gonna go from left to right so I just swatched Firefly it was so soft Got gravity I really wanted to play with this but I feel like everyone's been playing with the blues and the greens and I was trying to do a purple look and I turned up a blue look it's fine I'm not mad I love blues okay so we have firefly seven of nine gravity queen of blades and void if I was ever gonna do like a three looks one palette it's probably gonna be with this palette so let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that because I could probably figure something out but I am so excited did you see how pigmented these shades are that I just swatched oh so stunning so stunning also guys just so you know this palette is limited edition and it's currently sold out but Kaleidos is gonna do one more restock on February 17th and I love that they timed it so all of the PR and most of the orders I think will reach people so in case you have FOMO you'll still have one more shot to buy this palette if you even have like a hint of want, 
I would highly recommend picking it up because I don't know if they'll be restocking it after that. I'm sure if you follow Angie on socials and Kaleidos on socials, they'll keep us posted. But as far as I know, February 17th is when the restock is and I would, I would not mess around. Okay, so now I'm gonna swatch the middle row. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here I have You're My Only Hope, Nauru, Astro, Rock Hopper, and Cylon. So this is the shade I have on my lid, You're My Only Hope. It's like a beautiful iridescent purple with a blue shift. I don't even think you guys can tell that that's a purple on my lids. That blue shade is so stunning. Then we have this matte like gray purple and this purple shade. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so pretty. Okay, so the last row has the most amount of metallics. There's three of them in here. Oh, this shade Nebula. Oh girl, I was waiting for Nebula. I think I was most excited for that shade. Come on, Pinky. Put some back into it. <gasps> Yep, that's the shade Nova. I have that in my inner corner. And in my inner corner, it's picking up like almost an electric blue shade with all the colors. It's like reflecting all the shades in my crease. Okay, are you ready for Nebula? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like a peachy, hot, peachy, shimmer, orangey deliciousness with like a red flip. And then there's the last shade called Red Giant. So over here we have Celestial, Nova, Samus, sorry Angie, <laughs> Nebula, and Red Giant. So there's the last row, and here are all of the gorgeous swatches from the Angelica X Kaleidos eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Stunning! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is amazing. Okay, guys. Now that you've seen swatches, let's get into how I created this eye look. Okay, guys. I'm so excited. We're going to film the unboxing and the demo portion of this video. So this is what the PR box looks like. I think everyone's getting the PR box if they ordered the Club Nebula palette. And in here there is a little invite. So freaking cute. And then look at like the detail in the box. This is so nice. There's some tissue paper. The deck of cards is wrapped up in here. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine how long it takes to package these things. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I am so excited. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's in the bottom of the box. Okay, so it's got like its own like foam in there. I'm gonna put this back here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to ditch all these pallets here. Put that on display for a little bit. Okay, here's the box. Okay, it says the Club Nebula palette. Ultra pigmented, highly blendable, 12 month shelf life, net weight of 13 grams or 0 0.459 ounces. Press pigment palette, cruelty free and vegan. Made in the PRC. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. So here's the little door to the club. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cool. It looks exactly like I expected. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is so cool. The little beads on here are raised. It says Angelica Nyquist. I hope I said that right. Oh my gosh. Okay, on the back it says 
The Club Nebula palette is a collection of my favorite shades for my favorite people. Oh my gosh. Made in collaboration with Angelica Nyquist, a rich, sultry palette that brings universal class to far out looks. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've seen this palette on video so many times, but this is my first time seeing it in real life and I feel tingly all over my body. I feel tingly. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It looks just like you would see it in camera, but it just feels so unreal to be seeing this. Firefly, Sound of Nine, Gravity, Queen of Blades. I watched her reveal video again just so I could hear her describe all the shades. So when I played with it, I kind of knew the stories. <gasps> Nebula? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I kept thinking like, what shades should I use? What shades should I use? And now I'm like, back to square one because I'm like, they're all pretty. I need, I need more eyes. I need more eyes. Okay. Me freaking out is going to be a bitch to edit, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. What are we going to do? Should we do two looks? I feel like I should do two looks. I'm trying to think of like a look I haven't seen people do and I feel like I've seen people use all the colors so I don't feel like I'm going to do anything that unique. What would Angelica do? What would Angelica do? Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with the blue shade called Seven of Nine. And I'm just taking it on a blending brush. And I already have my eyes primed. I just used my P. Louise base. I know I have the Kaleidos base, but I wanna use the P. Louise one because I want all these colors to pop on my skin. Okay, that blended like a dream. So, yay, <laughs> Angie. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is unreal. This is so unreal to be sitting here filming with this palette. Okay, work like butter, work like a dream. Gonna go into this eye. I'm gonna do the same thing. <gasps> Okay, I'm trying not to lose my shit right now. Okay, so the next shade I want to use, I think I'm going to go into Queen of Blades and Void. I think I'm going to mix both of those into the crease. Just going to grab a smaller brush. I don't even want to talk. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is blending like a dream. This blue shade is a little bit powdery, so just be careful. Make sure you're tapping off the brush. But other than that, it's not an issue. I just want to give you guys the heads up that just tap off your brush so you don't end up with a ton of fallout on your face, especially if you like to do your eyes after you do your foundation, you know? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go into the brush that I had the light blue on and just blend the outer and inner. Ah! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go into Queen of Blades, which is the dark green. And I'm gonna just put that on top of the blue. Because why not? I wanna play with as many colors as I can. So I'm just helping it darken out the outer corner even more. Okay, so now for a lid shade, I have so many options. I could do the green. I think I'm gonna do the You're My Only Hope, which is like the purple. Now typically, I don't have to use a glitter glue with Kaleidos, so I'm not going to. I don't think Angie used glitter glue. Did she? I can't remember. Do you guys remember? Okay, maybe I'll use glitter glue because I don't want to ruin this look. I want this look to be perfect and awesome. So let me just use a little bit because, because I want this look to live its full potential life. So I'm going to go into my Too Faced glitter glue, which is my go-to. I'm going to do one eye at a time. 
so don't fluff anything up. And the key to glitter glue is not to use too much, I feel like, you know what I mean? So, you guys know I like to use my little plastic applicator. <laughs> okay, so we're going into only, You're My Only Hope, which I believe is a Star Wars reference. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Becky! <laughs> Becky. Oh my god, Becky. Are you freaking kidding me with this? <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I don't even need a lot. It's like super smooth. It looks great. I blended it into my crease. Minimal fallout. Basically done with the eye look. Okay, so now I need to do the other eye. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Is there anything better than a dummy proof palette? Because if I can use it and turn out an eye look, listen, you guys can too. Don't be afraid to try some fun colorful eyeshadows in your life. Life is too short, girlfriend. It's too short. To be afraid of color. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go into Astro. And I'm just going to tap it on between the matte blue and the iridescent purple shade. Okay, guys. I'm pretty much done. Just going to clean up this one eye just to tish because I had a little bit of fallout. Gonna do something with my under eyes. And I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. Everything on my face is gonna be linked down in the description box, including this cool shirt. I'm like low-key excited. <laughs> yes, let's bring back the poofy sleeves. I'm ready for it. So before I give you guys my first impression thoughts, I thought I would do a few little comparisons for you guys in case some of you are like wondering what shades are similar. To existing Kaleidos palette. So here is the Escape Pod palette. They launched this last summer and I have a loose pan in it. I keep meaning to glue it on but I never end up doing so. So there are some green shimmers in this palette. Now these are true shimmer shades whereas the one in the Club Nebula is more of an iridescent green shade and I believe it's a duo chrome so hopefully you guys can see that but let me give you the swatch so this is the green call firefly in Club Nebula and then we have the two greens in the escape pod so hopefully you guys can see that there is a big difference in the shades I know Angie said in her announcement video that there aren't any dupes in the palettes and obviously I feel like Angie spent a lot of time working on this palette. I'm pretty sure we can trust Angie to know what she's doing but just in case you guys wanted to see since I have all the palettes I can help you guys out. So I'm swatching Amaretto which is a peachy duochrome shade in the Escape Pod. I also have Starlight Son um, Sonata on my pinky. That one looks like a straight up champagne to be honest. So I'm going to swatch Nebula and Amaretto next to each other. They do look kind of similar but let's see when I swatch them. Yeah, they are very close but one is a hint more peachy whereas the other one is a little bit more red leaning. So hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, that's probably the most similar shade just off of the top of my head. And then there's a shade called Space Oasis in the Escape Pod palette, which is a straight up like purple. And then I'm just gonna swatch that next to You're My Only Hope. Those two look very different on my finger. See that You're My Only Hope is definitely more of an iridescent. And then it picks up blue on my lids it looks purple on my swatch, whereas the shade Space Oasis is a straight up purple shimmer shade from the 
Escape Pod palette. So I think those are the ones I mainly find similar. I also wanted to mention this palette. This is the Deep Sea Luster. So this was a palette that Kaleidos had and it kind of went out of stock before they like super blew up. So not a lot of people have this palette. So that's why I'm saying if you really, really, really want the Club Nebula, I would say just get it because sometimes, you know, the ingredients they use to make palettes they run out or for some reason they might not be able to restock it. So I just don't want you guys to miss out, okay? Because I know how many comments I get about people wanting to buy this palette from me or how many people wish they had gotten their hands on it. So anyway, just wanted to mention that because I grabbed all my Kaleidos palettes to look through. Now the main one I think even I was curious about is the purple shade in the Futures in 3 palette, the Astro Pink. It has a shade in here that is a very like blue to purple shade. So I swatched that on this finger and now I'm going to swatch Astro. So hopefully you guys can see the two shadows next to each other. And yeah, Club Nebula, I can definitely see like the green and the purple and the blue. Whereas Astro Pink is more like a blue pink shade. So. Hopefully you guys can see that they're close, but they're not that close like you could definitely have both and be Just fine <laughs> Is all I'm saying. Okay, so I don't think there were any other similar shades that I was really curious about I swatched the main ones what I'm really excited about is that the Club Nebula just expanded Kaleidos by even more options because now I have like all the deepening up shades I've ever wanted in one place and also Angie gave it enough diversity where you can still create complete eye looks so if you want to do an eye look you can use each of these rows you can intermix between the rows which is what I did today I mean the possibilities are really really endless and she's got so many transformer shades she also told us like you can basically pair any of these shimmer shades on top of the matte shades and really give it more dimension and really really play basically it has endless possibilities which I think is really exciting I know a lot of you have said this year that you're on a low buy or a no buy and a lot of you actually broke your low buys and no buys to pick up this palette but I feel like it is a good investment if you guys love playing with color I think this has such a spot in everybody's makeup collection because it has those colorful mattes that we all are always looking for to deepen up our outer corners and stuff like that. For the way I like to do my makeup, this is perfect and I'm so, so glad that I received this in PR. So let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see with the Club Nebula palette. Let me know your first impression thoughts. Have you guys picked up this palette? Are you passing on it? You guys know I love chatting to you down in the comment section. Again, a big congratulations to Kaleidos and Angie. Okay guys, that is it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.